Hello YouTube, this is Utakata J6, or Curious Speaker 3, and I'm here to show you a creative mansion that I've built in anticipation for the upcoming Let's Play series with mods that I hope to do. However, for now we're going to stick to creative mode, where I originally made this, because I really want to show some of the awesome things you can do with creative vanilla, construction-wise. And you'll see quite a few different things here, and I'll talk more about the Let's Play at the end. So, get ready, and we'll just go on a nice little tour here. All right, we'll give things a second to load up. Rain, rain, go away. All right, first of all, let's start by giving an overview of just exactly what the whole thing looks like. The mansion is built off the symbol of a grace from the Sword of Truth series. Terry Goodkind. So if it was fully loading, you would see that there are eight different wings. There's a lot of symbolism to that, but I'm not going with the symbolism so much as the cool potential for architecture. Why is the last bit not loading? Ah, excellent. There we go. You can see eight different wings. This way is north. This way is south. So let's go through the entrance and start having a look. This would be the southeast. So entering, you'll see there's a bit of a gravel driveway, two different ways. Let's look at the parking. Cars or mine carts or tanks or whatever you have will be driving through here, coming along on this nice three wide road. Then they can turn in. You'll see there's different parking spots here. If you're not wanting to park, you can just keep traveling around, and you'll see some of the first features of the house. Yes, in the basement we have here a soccer field. There's our emergency escape. And a tennis court. Right. Again, all these blocks are made hand in creative. So, this staircase the main staircase people would use to go up to the main floor, but before we take that, let's explore the basements a little bit. Coming back this way, you see the garage. So people would immediately, if they didn't want to take the stairs, some people are lazy of course, they could take the elevator, which for creative purposes is just lapis that goes up through different floors. You can see I can rise and get out. So, floors in the basement. We have our wine cellar. Wine is very important. Boiler room. General boring storage space, kind of thing that people love to tear up, fill with their stuff. Again, back to the stairs and the sports courts. You'll notice I've got these signs. They're much more helpful on the upper floors because the basement is just by letters. If we go through, though, here's our battle room. Yes, I'm a fan of the Pokemon series. I just had to. This is a bit of redstone that I'll explain later, which is why this room is slightly lower ceiling. Ah, the bomb shelter, because every house should have one, lined with lead, obviously. Got our bathroom, storage, food, tables and chairs, beds, what have you. Shall we keep going? Here is our council room, or our war room, depending on how you want to look at it. I would have loved for that to be mirror, but 
Unfortunately, Minecraft doesn't have mirrors, and no mods do quite yet either. Why on earth would we denote that that's west? Well, could be for my purposes, or... The leader could want to escape from the room and really quickly. Now, I just kind of glitched a bit to show you some of the redstone working that's going into this. Fortunately, that does mean I'm going to have to temporarily destroy that diamond, but it's fine. This world is backed up a hundred times. And we would have a way out into an area you'll see later. Notice the obsidian. Continuing from the council room, we have basement G. It's our jail. Perfectly effective? No, we can make it better with mods, but again, this is just some creative architecture. So, can't get back out once you're in. Or, go figure, look at that, a hidden room. Whatever could one use this for? Excellent question. That was the first of four hidden rooms that I'll be showing you. And now back into the council to continue our tour here. You can see the bomb shelters to the left here. Our archery range. Now I had a lot of fun making this one. Because one can stand here with a bow, like such, and shoot out, test your arch archery skills, aim at the centers of the targets. I can pull a minecart out and get it moving on these rails back there and try to shoot the minecart, which would destroy it. Or, from those same positions, I could shoot at the paintings and knock them off. Of course, we have a chest, which is handily loaded with extras of everything. And I'll demonstrate the minecart moving. So that would continue like this, and we could be shooting at it from the other side. And that's the archery room. One of my personal favorites. And then we're back to parking and pretty much done with the basement. Besides our little well to get water for this house. And there's more up there, which you'll see soon. So, let's head upstairs, shall we? I'm going to take the elevator rather than the stairs, because that'll actually put us back near the entrance, which is convenient for making the tour rather logical. With the elevator... There's only there's two entrances, which if we were using mods or something, we could have more fancy, but they're just holes for now. People enter from one side or the other. We can imagine there's buttons or such here, and it actually would work if it was a real house. Now, this is where one would actually enter if just come in from outside. You have our carpet, wipe off your shoes, and you're in a bar. Bar features, tables. Pool tables, fancy lighting, music. Now, quick little, quick little side. And pretty much the only interesting thing about the outside, the only really interesting thing. This functions as our mob stables because if you're coming in from the outside, there are switches that will open up this door, and I'll demonstrate that eventually. So you could open up this wide 2x3 area and lead in your, oh, I don't know, more creatures' horses or regular vanilla pigs or whatever and keep them in this area. Same applies on the other side. And we'll do a bit of exploring the walls in a little while here. But for now, let's actually enter the main house, shall we? So, you'll notice there's these helpful direction signs on all the upper floors, which are rather nice. So here's our great hall, our ballroom and stage. Pretty empty, eh? but of course, ballrooms generally are. One can get up on stage, speak from the microphone, have everyone's attention, or come backstage, be preparing to put on a show or something. If you go back here, you'll see our... There's redstone wiring for what I'm just about to show you, and here's our secret exit from the council room. It also works the other way around, by the way. I could get back in there. And now, redstone. Because now we have theater seating, instead of just a ballroom. And I can make it go away just as easily. 
Scoot